The ITDRoll.com Morning After at Cardinal Spring Training is brought to you by Vogel Heating and Cooling, Charter Communications, Dirt Cheap, Fox and Hound Tavern, The Cheshire, Taco Bell, and Metabolic Meals. Uh, yeah. Little Billy Gilman to start off your Monday, Doug, if you don't mind. Yeah, that's very nice. Very nice. I didn't think you'd spring to bring him down here with us. But here he is. Got about 15 people down here. That's yep. like I'm springing for everybody. Yeah, that's very nice stuff. Kyle Osha sitting in with us here. It's the ITDRoll.com morning after on 590 The Fan, KFNS, and KFNS.com. Uh, Stebman, can you pot the Billy Gilman back up one more time just in case Kyle didn't get a chance to, to hear the uh, the beautiful tunes? Oh, yeah. Take a listen. It's like couple skate. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Is that a roller rink reference? Yeah. I think I caught it. Kyle Loach with us here on the ITDRoll.com morning after 590 The Fan, KFNS, and KFNS.com as we broadcast live from Jupiter, Florida. Brought to you by the Cheshire St. Patrick's Day at Fox and Hounds Tavern, Charter Communications, Metabolic Meals, The Ticket Guys, Vogel Heating and Cooling, Dirt Cheap, and Taco Bell, a program that will also be able to be viewed on InsideSTL.com. All of our video clips up starting tomorrow with Justin Boyd here. The cat has returned from some fine journalism. And he's deciding whether was that that I was you were deciding to. whether not to talk into your Red Bull can or a microphone. <laughs> no, I was deciding whether did I have time to take a quick drink. Wait, did not have Who was I talking to over there? I, I thought that was Tyler Green, but I had a like bad him. view. Yeah. Oh, I should have oh, known that one. before I sat down. Yeah. You started asking about being a reliever? Yeah. yeah, it had to be awkward. Kyle, uh, it's, it's great to have you here. You're a regular on the program, and I'm sure you're thrilled to see us back for another year of Radio Magic. Oh, yeah. I'm happy to take part. And uh, There was a rumor that I might have been the first player here. First guest on the show. First, one. First guest on the yeah. show. No, right. no, technically Skip was because oh, he did man. a drive-by hello. Yeah, that's well, a good point. Well, yeah. a second. Skip doesn't count. He's he's not like officially full, here uh, or fully like grown. Oh, oh my word! No, wow. boy, I, offensive to I little take, people. I take I take personally special offense to that more than anybody. I, think. I can see the uh, four fox tonight. Doug Vaughn will call the call this team turmoil. <laughs> <laughs> the infighting has started as players try to seize control from a new manager. <laughs> Yeah, it's it's uh it's good. I was just in there giving Skip a hard time, so I had to. Uh, I have now that I heard that he was on here first, I had to get a little shot in there. Good for you. I understand you have big plans today. You're going to the zoo. Yeah, it's safari? like they have a little kind of. Uh, I think it's called like the lion. Country. Lion country safari. Yeah, that's what it is. Whoa, yeah. Doug, oh, you know I've that? been there. Oh, been I've been there. But you've oh, never oh, taken sure. your kids down here. That's kind of creepy that you hang it out over at the weird. kids. Yeah, that is. I was here on vacation years ago and went. Oh gosh, zoo, yeah. yeah. So, uh, so a, a married man goes to. <laughs> Lion Safari without the kids? Yeah, that's right. Uh, Weird. That's, I'm awkward. Yeah, yeah, really awkward. awkward. I'm sitting wow. on the same side of the bench, too, so I'm, I'm a little, Man, little awkward creepy. right now. He's but, yeah. also the guy that lunches alone at Chuck E. Cheese. Mm. <laughs> Only a couple times a week. He Not goes, every day. He goes back there and steals the suit, too. It's kind of weird. It's awkward. Here's All a right. piece of advice at the Lion Safari. Stay in the car. Yeah, that's, uh, yeah. But the, the other big one is trying to make sure the kids keep the windows up. Yeah. They're, they're back there trying to uh, let the ostrich get it, their head inside the truck. <laughs> the it's, yes. it's not good. You know, I don't better know. than the lion, though. Yeah, it's better than the lion. Those, they keep those behind a, an extra chain link fence, so hopefully they stay back there and I don't have any run-ins. You, would hope, you don't hear of too many tourists being eaten down here, so no, they so must I, have it figured out. I, I think we'll be all right. We've been down there before, so uh, you know, my son loves it. He's five now. and uh, you know, it's, What's his it's name? Like a highlight. Cameron. Cameron. If I'm Cameron. not mistaken, Cameron got to enjoy the post-game celebrations last year during yes. October. I yeah, thought he did. Saw we, him on there. we heard about it uh, just about every day, and he thinks it's like a normal thing to uh, <laughs> go to the World Series and have the <laughs> celebrations. And uh, I think we might have gotten in a little bit of trouble after the the Milwaukee series. I think he was uh, in there when you know the adult beverages were being sprayed around. And, <laughs> you know, it's, you know, it's not like he was in there doing anything bad it's just uh probably looked bad maybe in a couple of pictures so i think we got in trouble so did you hear from social services in the wake not, of it? not yet but, you think uh, you may lose he, your child no I, I don't think so i think he's all right we, we cleaned it up you know it's all good now. <laughs> does he look like a pitcher can you tell if he's can he throw it all he uh yeah he's got a good arm swings lefty uh i'm pushing him towards golf right now he loves going out and hitting golf balls in the backyard and uh oh yeah Lefty man, it's it's pretty funny to watch because you know he's got a nice swing and it looks pretty much the opposite of mine, so that's good. <laughs> he's got a chance. <laughs> at, at what age were you when you thought you had a chance to make it to the major league where it looked like it might not just be a dream? I but think a reality? we all think we can until a certain point. Yeah, I, I never, I never, yeah, I don't know how else to put it. I never got 
hit with reality that I couldn't. I, I always thought that I, I was going to do it. And I was. I remember telling like my fourth grade teacher, "Yeah, I'm going to play baseball." I was like, okay, yeah, that's yeah. good. You just keep studying, keep doing good. <laughs> Let's not compare yeah. ourselves to someone that actually does it, because I'm sure you were great at every sport at every level. Where no offense, Tim. Whoa, whoa, whoa. I think the rest of us. I had a cup, had of, a cup of coffee. I had a slew. I had a cup of Hello, coffee with the slew team. JV team. Oh, okay, man, that's okay. Well, thank you. When not, you're six years old, that, when so. you're six years old and you're playing on the local high school JV team, that's a sign that you're going to be a stud athlete. None thank of us you. had that. Thank you. Were you good at everything? I was pretty good at uh, yeah. I was pretty good at basketball, football. All right. What'd you, you know, play football? Quarterback. And, quarterback. Yeah. Uh, Everybody's yeah. a quarterback here. Every, yeah. Everybody How far could you throw a football? Seventy-nine uh, yards. Seventy-nine. Uh, you know how much can you bench press? What are you asking yeah. him, Doug? I like to know. <laughs> I don't know. Uh, when I was in high school, man, I was like 160 pounds, so that football was pretty heavy to get down there. I don't know, maybe 50, 55 yards, something yeah. like that. How was the club? What's that? Your football team? Uh, we were terrible. <laughs> what was the dude? club? <laughs> the club. <laughs> He's gonna leave. <laughs> I'm thinking, yeah, nice. <laughs> it's like the T.J. Oshi interview all over again. <laughs> I thought that was Kachuk. Both. Yeah, well, either Basketball, way. could you dunk? Uh, barely. I got, but you could. I don't know. I, I had a hard time palming the ball, so I could kind of, like, throw it against the back of the rim and, and get it down. But uh, Mad yeah. hops. Yeah, I, yeah. Sprinting you, wasn't you'd your forte, though. expect 6'2", you should easily do it. And <laughs> I don't know. I, I got not as much hops as you would think. <laughs> Sprinting was not Sprinting, your forte. I, I noticed world, in our little video. Close yeah. to world class speed, I think. Um, now you're referencing where you where you raced each other. If I'm not yeah. mistaken, that's what the cat's doing. Yeah, he's he's he referencing cheated. where he got. It wasn't even cheating. It was just you got to listen to how things are worded. I got it. And uh, you did the same thing to who Holiday with the bench press. I did. Yeah, and then uh, he was. He mad. said, "I'll I'll lift you." And Holiday's like, he's "Okay." Like, and they did the same I, thing. I, and I he told said, him we'd have a lift off for like a hundred. He uh, he took, and I was like, I did three or four. I didn't want to strain myself, and, you know, he just started laughing. He did five or six and then just showed off doing maybe 30 or 40 more or whatever. <laughs> and uh, I was like, dude, congrats. Put the hunter in my locker. I didn't say I had who had to win, and he didn't like it. I thought it was really stupid. That just would like, not upset him. He's just seen... like I knew it was stupid, but, you know, a bet's a bet. Did you get your hunter? Uh, no. And, uh, and I'll see it's not like I'm going to do anything to, him to <laughs> make him pay up. You know, he's twice the size as I am, so I'm not I'm not going to mess with him. Is this uh, any kind of different feel because uh, Dave Duncan is not here? I guess it's it's kind of different. You all know Liliquist, but his role has been expanded. Yeah, it's definitely a, a different feel all around. Um, you know, it's it's not a bad thing. It's not you know, it's uh it's just different. I don't know how else to say it. They um, you're, you're not going to replace Duncan. You're not going to have the same experiences that he has to rely on and uh you know i think lily's going to step in and do a good job he did a good job last year taking over for a while and and you know we're excited to to start you know be here while a new chapter is being started i guess of the three departures of the off season which one surprised you the most uh which one surprised me the most uh you know the obvious one i don't know what the obvious one is (laughs) i actually don't albert Albert, Albert leaving i think the most surprising you know um I think with Tony, every year you never knew. Um, you know, he just he always had his, his weighing, his pros and cons of coming back, so you never knew when, which year it was going to be the, the last one. Um, you know, with Duncan, you kind of, you know, you, you, you saw the family situation mm-hmm. and, and kind of saw, you know, that's a possibility. And uh, so I guess by default, that makes it Albert. No, I understand where you're coming from. Kyle Lowe sitting down with us here on the ITDRoll.com morning after broadcasting live from Jupiter, Florida, where we will be all week. And he is our first guest, although there is some debate whether or not Skip Schumacher, by definition, count, he does think. not count. Because he's too small. No, because all he said was hi. Yeah. yeah. That's, 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 Usually we leave these things to Doug to rule on. How Doug, do you who rule? is our first guest? I, I think Kyle has to be the first Very guest. Very nice. What yeah. if Skip Put it on here? the board. If Skip was here, we'd say he's the first guest. <laughs> if there was a board, it's on it, I guess. <laughs> How many times have you Three? watched? No, no, no. I, I was asking you. I was asking oh. Kyle. Have you watched Game 6 of the World Series since Game 6 of the World Series? I haven't. You have not? No, I have not. I just... Uh, that was a I mean, bunting I clinic. Uh, no. I know. You asked the bunt. Yeah, I've you've gone back a hundred times. Screw the free the stuff. Game. Yeah. No, I, but your bunt, no, you've gone back and looked at. Anybody can do that. <laughs> getting up there with millions of people, knowing you have to get a bunt down and getting it down. That's that's the hard part. You know, it was. Uh, you know, I, I honestly, I I don't think I have a recording of it, so I haven't watched it. Really? 
And you've been going to so many theme parks, too. Yeah, I've been going to theme parks, <laughs> taking care of the kids, uh-huh. you know, the short off season, you know, it feels so bad for me right now. But uh, <laughs> you um, don't have, you didn't DVR it, no one gave you like one of the, the uh, yeah, those World DVD Series DVDs. Collections. We even gave uh, them out on the show. Yeah, we uh, could give you. We, we could hook, you, hook up. you up, man. We could hook you up and watch you win the World Series. No problem. I'm not a huge uh, touchy feely, nostalgic feeling kind of guy. I just uh, being there in the moment was enough for me right now. And you know, years, you know, down the road, I'll, I'll definitely probably want to relive it a little bit. But um, man, it, I mean, it was a great game. I, I, I'm not like hating on it or anything. I just have, <laughs> haven't. You know, I had the opportunity to watch it, nor, you know, it made it a huge priority to go back and watch it. And then, and then you have this great year, I guess the best year you've ever had in the major leagues, and you hear your name in, in trade rumors. How'd that go over? Uh, it had to be disappointing. I don't I don't really care until something happens. I, I've been around long enough to know, you know, there's there's rumors that are going to be going on all the time. I mean, you know, it's uh, it was, there wasn't anything immediate, I don't think, because Mo never really talked to me about it. And, course i have the well publicized no trade clause so mm. you know everything so you had the ace talked about. that's what it is <laughs> but but i never heard anything so it wasn't like a, a big concern of mine and and uh you know it was just kind of business as usual in the off season so what if they came to you and said hey we got a deal would you waive your no trade clause <laughs> we'd have to wait you know we'd, we'd have to see what was going on there um you know hopefully i'm wanted here so that you know would never happen but uh you never know yeah. with uh with albert going to the west coast i'm just wondering how closely you followed that and then you know there's some obviously some blowback from cardinal fans that are that are disappointed you know i always say it's a business and you have to both sides you know the team approaches it as a business so should the players just your your take on on how that whole thing went down yeah i um you know i kind of followed it from far you know it's Always in the off season, you 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 hear things, you see things, but I don't get too deeply involved, especially when it comes to to guys under contracts. Um, you know, there's a lot of stuff that goes on that people don't know about, and it will never be heard what what happened. And uh, you know, so I don't know all the specifics of what happened between Albert and the club, and you know, it, it just didn't work out. So he he apparently had a better offer, and and it's a business as as much of uh, you know fans get their you know it's it's a game we all love to play. People love to watch it. We're lucky to be able to do it and, and get paid well to do it. And, you know, you understand the emotion behind fans being disappointed and um, the feeling of betrayal. But, you know, it, it's, it, you know, for us, we're, it's our job. So you have to go where you feel it's, it's best for you, best situation. And, and uh, you know, I'm sure a lot of people out there feel there's not a better situation than Albert staying in, in St. Louis. But, um, you know, it, it, not everything's perfect and doesn't work out just the way you want to. Kyle Loesch sitting down with us here on the ITDRoll.com morning after on 590 The Fan KFNS, KFNS.com. We're broadcasting live from Jupiter, Florida, about 25 feet away from the Cardinal locker room. On the other side of things, you lose Albert Pujols, but you get Carlos Beltran and Adam Wainwright is coming back, and, and most people still expect the Cardinals to be the team to beat in the National League Central, and some think might be even better than at this point last year because of those additions. Yeah, I mean, uh, we're excited. Uh, we're excited to get Wainwright back. Um, you know, uh, everything that I've seen, he, he looks you know like his old self, so, so that's going to be fun to, to see him go out there every five days and... Uh, do his thing and and you know like I said it winter warm up but I don't think anybody's more excited about a seven Beltron over here because of his numbers versus me he's, <laughs> he's, uh, he's he's killed me throughout my career so um you know now that I don't have to face him this year I, I'm looking forward to it and if he does get in a slump you know god forbid I'll, I'll throw to him and, and get him right out of it he'll he'll feel <laughs> he'll get hot <laughs> if I get to face him. What up? When, with Tony leaving, and you were the guy that masqueraded as Tony handing in the uh, yes. lineup uh, well-publicized, idiosyncrasy-wise, and we're not asking you to kill him, but there are some things that all of us see about Tony. What are a couple of Tony's idiosy- idiosyncrasies that you'll miss? Uh, you know, the Kill him a little. <laughs> <laughs> i got to be careful because people think it's personal. But no, uh, but we, we joke about it, too. I, I, we all like Tony, but there are certain things. He would admit that there are know, little things that he does that are a little different. Uh, you know, I so mean, kill him. I don't know. I, I I would go to, like, the uh, the posturing kind of stuff, you know. With, you know I, I just picture him with kind of just this hand on the hips kind of a, a – look with a scowl you know and then you can't you got to have the sunglasses at night thing going on so uh you know i think that if i if i had to go back and do another one i'd you know wear the sunglasses at if night. you if like if you went into his office and you were just 
talking with him about the team, and you happen to call Mott the closer when he had closed so many games in a row, would he have scolded you the way he did the media when they called him a closer, or do you guys get a pass on those kind of things? From I just don't think I would have done it. <laughs> you knew fear? better. You knew better. I know better than to do that. <laughs> Uh, you, you couldn't know, say I mean, closer, and you couldn't also say you couldn't say bad words. blown save. <laughs> yeah, no. Even yeah. though that's a statistical category. <laughs> no, it's, it's you should know better than that. You know, you can't ask questions. <laughs> that's, that's what I mean. You can't ask legitimate questions. Come on. Isn't it hard to imagine that somebody who'd been around as long as he had, like 33 years as a manager, in his upper 60s could maintain that level of intensity every day? That, that's the surprising part where, you know, you could understand that uh, – Eventually, he had to step away because there's no way for that long. I mean, I can picture myself day in, day out, living and dying with the games, being as prepared as he is. Um, you know, I don't even know if the guy ever slept during the baseball season. He was, you know, just going over all kinds of different things. I mean, you saw it with the different lineups, and, you know, there, it wasn't just to do it. it. There was a reason behind it, and uh, very well thought out whether it worked or not. It, there was definitely thought behind it in preparation, so... Um, you know, with all all that being said, uh, you know that that's a lot of uh, stress and, and very taxing on yourself mentally and physically. So, um, you know, hopefully steps away and gets some good good rest, and who knows whatever the next step for him is. And so now you're playing for Mike Matheny, young guy, especially uh, relative to other managers in the game. How did he uh, stand in front of you guys yesterday with his first address before your first workout, and how did that go over? It was good. Uh, uh, you know, he's a very good. He's he's used to leading guys being a former catcher and uh, someone that, you know, has led teams, you know, he's, he's played here and, and done well and, and is very well respected and uh, he comes across that way and, you know, that was one of the one of the big things is, you know, we they respect us, we need to have the respect for them to go about our business, uh, which res- just the, the bottom line I think I took out of it was the respect factor and uh, we got a lot of veterans in there that, that respect the Cardinal way. We, we, we go about our business working hard, doing things right, and, uh, you know, just that was kind of the, the, the main theme. It's a, a little different feel here, and I know, you know, the position players for the most part haven't reported, but think about last year in the zoo it was with Albert, and you guys are world champions, and yeah, e- even quiet. though the full squad isn't here, it's kind of crazy. <laughs> Yesterday, I think at this time, would we have like five or six tents right in the area we're sitting in. I, don't, I mean, <laughs> a lot of people probably don't know where we're at, but, uh, you know, it was, yeah, you know, you almost had to worry about the clothes you were wearing because you might end up on TV coming to the park wearing, you know, some ratty clothes. And people <laughs> be like, "Oh, these guys can't dress right," you know, and stuff like that. So, yeah, it's pretty uh, kind of anonymous here. It feels like, you know, just which is good, right? Around. Yeah. Because last year you guys had to was, kind of pre-prepare answers it, when you, when people were were asking you about Albert, and and you, and you guys weren't going to, you know, it, take I a mean, side on that. No, I mean, you know, it's you know. The funny thing was you keep getting asked about it being a distraction and, and nobody believed that it wasn't going to be a distraction. You know, the only dis- the only distracting part was the annoyance of being asked over and over about it. And But that doesn't affect any of your preparation, anything on the field. So, you know, why would it affect, you know, our win-loss record or, or our performance? So, um, you know, it's, it, it's one of those things that, you know, it became a huge story and, and uh, you know, a lot of fun, I guess, to talk about and write about. But... Um, you know, it wasn't really that big of an issue inside that clubhouse, and I think it showed. Albert was clearly the face of the franchise. How much influence does it, does a guy who's reached that stature have on the chemistry of the team? Is that is that overblown by the media that uh, it's Albert's team or, or not? Um, you know, I think when it comes to to media and the public perception, I think uh, it's a bigger deal. I mean, inside the clubhouse, uh, this team is is a great close close-knit team there's not like a certain clicks where certain guys are telling people how to do things and whatnot it's 25 guys in there having fun doing things right working hard and um you know i don't think any one guy swayed things or changed the dynamic of that um you know chambers so have chambers yeah i mean it's besides close. him you know chambers, you my boy. <laughs> that's our i don't even know that's what that's a that rap song <laughs> where they reference <laughs> Chambers. Nice. Yes. Yeah. Our Chambers? Yep, yeah, that's yeah. the oh, one. Yeah. Yeah, it's, oh, a, it's, a, it's, a car, it's a cardinal rap when you guys are making your run in uh-huh. September and October. A young gentleman by the name of Treader started spitting lyrics, and of all people, the guy who had, what, three at-bats at, yeah. po- at that point? Good, uh-huh. good key one. <laughs> yes, he did. He had you, some important Here, hit him with it again, Stedman. Listen to this guys, again. 
Come on, Stedman. Yeah. Wow. Yeah, that you know, jolted you a little. I, that makes you know. That makes me want to jump up on the bench and wave my towel around the head, just like Chambers <laughs> did in that rally. <laughs> I, I feel, yeah. That just, that just got me going again. I was kind of coming. You down want your off, own rap song? Yeah, I was coming down off my uh, nice lift and kind of like you know after my lift, I have a little down moment you know just kind of like recouping you really now should I, go I'm, station got to station adrenaline. and not have a down moment i got the adrenaline going again That's all I got <laughs> yeah chambers uh, will get I'm you fired, fired up. up well kyle we appreciate you sitting down with us uh especially considering uh you are our first guest of the cat not skip you. schumacher you are our first guest and look jaime garcia look your partner in the rotation oh, sitting down right now nice. Uh, look at this. It's non-stop. It makes me puddle. not want to leave right now. Yeah. No, you go want ahead. To stick stay. Around? Yeah, stick around. Uh, I got to go. <laughs> <laughs> the Chambers thing has you too worked up. You want to stay? I, I'm going to go look on uh, iTunes and see if I can find that. <laughs> we'll send you a Joe Thanks, Welch, send you Joe. Just, Yeah, I got to take care of it. Don't worry about it, Kyle. All right, there's Kyle Lowe.